First time Dr. Anderson sexually abused me was when I was 18 years old. In the three seasons that I played at the University of Michigan, I was given 50 prostate exams. I trusted everyone at the University of Michigan, but they took advantage of me and they pushed a serial rapist who had unfettered access to me and my body. This man was allegedly doing this to full scholarship athletes that were afraid to speak out for fear of losing playing time, losing scholarships. Yes. What else took place that violated you? I was subjected to uh, providing a reproductive sample. What was the study he said he was doing? He was in search of trying to create the perfect black athlete. You don't know whether you may have been a donor and have children out there. Absolutely. There is no way in God's earth that there weren't complaints that were getting to university authorities. Why were they not reacting to this? We had a legendary coach, Bo Schimbeckler, and we were all trying to become Michigan men. Nobody thought anything other than being uncomfortable was abnormal. Do you blame yourself in any of this? If I wasn't doing what I'm doing today, then I would. Because we can't change what happened to us. We know that but I can make the world a safer place for the future. It's amazing how these institutions will create these syndicates of abuse and use the capital system, whether it be brands or corporate dollars or institutional um, federal money to essentially fund the terrorism of rape. And, you know, I, I've asked, all, all of them, what the challenge was for women to come forward and talk about these most private matters, you know, that are embarrassing. I mean, it's, you don't want to come and talk about those sort of things. And yeah, I, I remember asking you about the same thing because what was the what was the thing that you had to wrestle with as a man, as a black man, as an athlete, as a someone to come forward and say what had been done to you. Um, that was not easy for you. It wasn't, it wasn't because like these women up here, the doctor in question was, you know, a celebrated doctor. You were at a, a major football program and everything was done under the guise of medical treatment. And like in, in, a, in, in your stories, the, in my first um, exam, he mentioned that my, my mother had got uh, breast cancer my senior year, and right as I'm getting recruited by Michigan. And he mentioned in that first exam that we see you have cancer in your history, and we need to do this testicular cancer screening and this prostate cancer screening um, as a part of the physical to play at the University of Michigan. So one, I was, I didn't know what a prostate was at 18, but I, I knew what cancer was and I was terrified of that. And I was groomed all along in that process of this is, this is just normal. And like one, one of the women said, only in the first exam did he use examination gloves. Yeah, after that, it, it was just, Skin to skin. Yes. You say you realized that you were a victim when someone else spoke up because as a teenager, you didn't know what the norm was because you hadn't spent a lot of time at the doctor before. Absolutely. I, you know, I was never sick. You would go full school years without missing um, a day. And so I found out actually two weeks uh, after my 50th birthday that um, it was March 26th of 2020 that what exams we were going through were actually digital rape and um, sexual assault. Yeah, because he was taking samples, right? Yes. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.